Oh my gosh, I heard all that crying. What happened in here? Hey, now. Daddy changed my pants and he made me all clean and dry. Daddy did <laughs> it. What? And look, I dressed the baby. You dressed the baby? I did dress the baby. <laughs> oh, fine. Show all the blackheads in my nose. See, guys, look at that. I'm gonna call myself. <laughs> He sure knows when that camera is on. He really does. Hey! <laughs> Melodramatic much? We're gonna go get some Ghostbusters donuts. Oh, I wanted to go with you. No. <laughs> Are you ready to go for a ride in Daddy's truck? So before we get to the build today, we have a couple things to get done, a couple of errands to run, a couple of crows to like run over. Just kidding. First stop, glass recycle. Yes, get to break things. Yeah, 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 break it. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna preach for three seconds, guys. Recycle. We only have one planet. Second stop of the day, I'm recycling batteries at. Um, McLennan hardware because they've got a thing to recycle batteries. That is so cool. <laughs> Say yay. Halloween. Small battery recycle. Done. Are you ready? Hey, excuse me, sir. Sir, you have milk on your mouth. Sir, you should wipe that up. Don't you hate it when, when your parents used to do this to you? <laughs> there we go. I got that up. One more item, checked off the list. Just got through recycling uh, the two batteries from the Haunt drills and also uh, some compact fluorescent lights because I got some LEDs because LEDs are much more efficient. I always love this intersection right before the mall because it's so bumpy. Baby reacts to bumps. Yeah, that wasn't exciting as I was thinking. Krispy Kreme Donuts! Ah! Oh. For Ghostbusters! Now I gotta downshift. Ghostbusters Donuts! Yes, 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 yes! They're, they're here! Ghostbusters Donuts! My god, is up! Oh my god, I'm so excited! Here we go. Oh my gosh, here they are! Wow! Can you smell the ectoplasm? Oh yeah. Oh, here they are, guys. Oh my god, those are so awesome. Awesome. How long are you going to have those? Till the 31st of October. Okay, so cool. If you want to keep coming in and ordering more, you're more than welcome to. Awesome, cool. Thank you. Thanks. So apparently, uh, there's more than one type. They're more of a Halloween donut. Originally, I was thinking that I was getting these and, and those over there. But, you know, that's okay. We'll take Halloween donuts too. And they've got them here at the store, so it's not like I had to pre-order them. But Halloween donuts and Ghostbusters donuts. Freaking badass. I'm so excited. I want to eat one right now. Did you have fun in Daddy's truck? Did you have fun? Try doing this with one hand. Got to do what you got to do, right? Ghostbusters stickers. Oh, those are awesome. Isn't that cool? He hasn't had any yet. Don't well, he's got to have some. Be careful. Aren't those cool? Oh my goodness. Are you going to take, get me to take a picture? Pumpkin oh, spice nice. and pumpkin cream. Those are filled. That's just a regular donut. But it, taste it. It is muy bueno. My first crispy cream donut. Yay. Hey, hey, that's okay. I got the dozen. I got the important ones. <laughs> All right, make sure I run for a full half hour on the treadmill tonight. Ghost up. I, I toast, salute. Are those regular ones? Um, try, is that a regular one? It's cream filled. Don't take my ghost. <laughs> Can I look at cream? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. 
<laughs> More. Hey, look at your face. You got cream on your face. Nuh-uh. Uh -huh, right down the side of your lip. <laughs> Sorry. I got a little messy. All right, guys. We're uh, fighting rain right now. It looks like it might sprinkle just a little bit. I don't think it's going to give us a total washout or anything. Um, Chuck, Capstone 2 is here. Hi. Shoving the camera in your face. What? What? <laughs> um, uh, oh, here you go, sir. Of Thank course. you. So he's having one of, the, one of our, our death cupcakes. Arr. So we're working on egress. I'm um, working on this door here. This is a door last year. This is like the main egress door. So I just cut the whole panel basically. And we've got to do some modifications on it this year to make it work. And then I think we're going to shoot egress all the way down here as the next step in getting all this built. But quite honestly, guys, we're, we're pretty close. We've got like a egress and then two and a half rooms kind of. And then we'll be pretty much done, and then we can start thinking about getting this thing covered. How is it? Delicious. <laughs> Are you lying? No. <laughs> I haven't filmed anything in like quite a long time, so we've got like quite a lot done. Um, this is kind of the, the hallway that I was talking about, and this is egress. <laughs> Granted, it's, it's a little curvy, it's a little wavy, but uh... You know, usually the traffic jams are right in the middle in egress, so we've just planned for that. It was all planned. That's what it was, right? Right. All right, guys. Uh, Chuck has taken off, and I went inside for a little while, relaxed, uh, because I need it, and I was tired of getting wet. Ugh, this freaking stupid wetness. Anyway, you can see the progress. I'm not sure if I've already filmed this or not. If I haven't, then there's the progress. If I have, then there's the progress again. But somebody else has come to volunteer today. Yay. Ah, there you are. <laughs> so this is Mariah. She volunteered uh, last, just last year, right? Not yeah. the last two, just last year. Just last year. Okay, cool. And then she's going to be in here for as much paint as we have left, uh, starting to paint up the, uh, what is this thing? The refrigerator, freezer, whatever, meat locker. Yes. All the above. So yeah, so we're going to start out here. I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough paint, so we're going to start out with like individual walls so that if we have to get another color that's close it'll be on a separate wall so it won't be like that apparent that it's a different color all right guys mariah has been back painting the uh the, the meat locker for like a while now and she's really into it she's been back there singing and everything is really freaking awesome um meanwhile she's been doing that i've been building walls the haunted house has just been built around her she doesn't know her way around yet so i want to try and get her reaction to when she comes out and be like, oh, I don't know where to go. There's the back door, the back of the house. Here is the exit of the haunt. So we come through here, and this is the last drop panel right here before you get out of the haunt. So this is actually going like completely backwards. So I built in this little corridor right here. This is a drop panel, but it's not gonna work this year because it's gotten wavy. So it would actually get ruined if it went down there. So it's just static. Alright, so what I need to do is I need to get this section here built really quick. so hard back there I wanted to get this all sealed off right here so you'd be like oh crap where do I go as the sun sets on another haunt build weekend you guys can take a look at the epic freaking progress that was achieved yesterday and today so just so that you guys in case you're just joining us this right here is the entrance to the basement and then you've got the basement with the dropped ceiling and the solarium, which you can see right there that when you get out of the solarium, you've got the facade. That goes down here and then back over here to the plastic maze to where at the end you've got the butcher dude. 
and then you've got the freezer over here the only reason there's panels up there right now is because I wanted to protect the paint from getting wet if it were to rain so that we can actually paint today that goes to the kitchen kitchen goes to either living or dining room and then living or dining room goes to the other one to which it is not the living or dining room and then prop cars there that's going to break through the wall right here so we're not totally done with this section here but you get down to the end here and then you go through this short hallway here drop panel right there and then your exit door is right there merchandise is going to be here in the grass this year so that not a lot of people are going to be like uh backed up or whatever because that door needs to remain clear so that's going to be one of the people that the merchandise people that's one of their jobs right there so make sure that door stays clear because you can pretty much bet that people are going to be busting out of the door <laughs> um so on a secondary note what the hell is up with moss just like before it started raining this stuff was brown and just falling off my roof and now with just a little bit of rain it's all green again stupid moss Ew, look at the nasty gray clouds. Oh, look at the nice pretty sunset. <laughs> That's weird, the sky's like split right there at the tree. I think all the panels are up. Maybe with the exception of one or two. Got a stack here of extra panels, which I'm so, I'm actually happy about that because I thought I was gonna run out, quite honestly. <gasps> Popcorn! This is so funny, she can't find her way through. She's been getting confused. How are you doing back here? Wow. Cool, I like the color. That's gonna look really good. Yes. It would look better if we had a roof on it right now, but uh, it looks good. What else are you doing to the um, In here, I don't know. I'm thinking about instead of blood work, maybe frost work, like sparkles or something. Ah, oh, she found her way. Oh, hi, baby. Before we wrap it up for the night, I want to give you guys one quick straight through walkthrough, all right? From beginning to end. So, here we go. Here is the entry and the basement. Ow. Turn this way, and we have solarium. Sorry about the camera not focusing. That's not my fault. Sparking person is going to be here. Walk out here. Have the facade now. Nice and awesome. Awesome, awesome. Uh, egress over here dog following us right here <laughs> uh, let's see hallway plastic maze through here butcher dude here meat storage freezer here kitchen which needs to be repainted Living and or dining, egress here. Uh, living and or dining, prop car going through wall. Come down this hallway. And drop panel and exit. So there you guys go. The first official, non-official walkthrough. <laughs> Anticipation. <laughs> <laughs> Is mommy trying to scare you? <laughs> it's like he knows it's coming. He just doesn't know when. Uh. <laughs> He's going to be one of those kids that laugh in a haunted house. He'll be like, boo, and he'll be like, ha, ha, ha. Well, that's what I did. I guess what I kind of did when the uh, prop car was going to hit me that first year in 2011. I kind of laughed, and you said I wasn't. I didn't get scared enough to be on the on the video. Yeah, you didn't. And I was like, because I was like that. Yeah. Of, I was laughing instead of uh, jumping, because maybe all the new viewers don't know is I got run over in October of 2009 in a crosswalk by a car in the dark. <laughs> So, yeah, it, it freaks me out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's anything better in life than hearing a baby laugh. Oh, what, what's that one joke, though? Unless it's 3 a.m. and you don't have a baby. Unless it's, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, an informal COC uh, because I would like to get to bed at a decent hour so that I can get up and go to work in the morning. Yay. Uh, Jordan Winton, and to everybody also, if I don't answer your question in COC because maybe I didn't see it and I'm just trying to get through this, 
re-ask it the next night, and I will try to get to it. Um, so, uh, Jordan Winton, and I'm sorry I missed your uh, question. First question, how do people make the effect of sound going down a hallway like someone is following you and it gets louder? I don't know. The only thing that I can think of is like surround sound and several different speakers going down the hallway. That's how I would do that. And second question, uh, when using atmosphere effects, the DVD, can you project onto clear frosted plastic? Thank you. Um, I don't know that either. I mean, if I knew, I would tell you, but I, I really don't know. I would think that you would be able to. I think that it would look like a ghostly apparition. Riot Starter B, best fast motion ever has to go to Phoenix. <laughs> I didn't know how awesome that was until Lori Lee and I watched it today. Well, because sometimes we play it for Phoenix when he's eating. Just so that, you know, I can kind of look back and see if I made any major flub ups or whatever in editing. There used to be a time that, to where I used to watch every vlog before I put it online. I don't do that anymore. Adam Owens, not sure if I if you saw it on Facebook, but I had a dream that you died. That's really disturbing. Just keep that to yourself. Steve Lewis and Jordan Winton. Um, I fear that my comments have been going into spam. Um, if they go into spam, then when I look at this, it will actually have a yellow bar that comes up here. It says some comments are spam, and then I'll go up there and I'll... As long as I see that bar, I mean, as long as it appears, I'm not saying, I mean, if I see, if the bar's there, then I see it. If it's not there, then I can't see it and I don't know. But if you guys are in spam, you're usually there. I'm in spam uh, for like CTFXC and stuff like that. My comments don't, don't even appear to anybody anymore, so there's no point in really commenting on them. Um, but no, you guys are, your guy, you guys are all good. I'm just answering questions, basically, is what I'm doing. Well, Steve Lewis did ask a question. How do you mend a broken jack-o'-lantern? With a pumpkin patch. <laughs> That's actually freaking cute. Jake Prando Productions, um, I answered you in, uh, actually online. Um, but what's wrong with Popcorn's Bark? She was debarked. Um, long story, and I, I posted it there for you if you guys want to see it. All right, guys. I want everybody's attention right now because this is a really good question, and I, I'd like to answer it. Woodland Haunters, I want your guys' opinion. Troy, do you have different music? or ambient sounds in each room of your haunt, or do you play the same thing throughout the whole haunt? I'm wanting to have different sound in each room, but I'm worried about carryover. Do you have any information that could help, such as what speakers, MP3s, triggering the sound, or letting it play continuously, etc.? I trigger my scare sounds, but I play the same ambient sound throughout the whole haunt right now. Any help is appreciated. Okay, the first thing is, is volume level, and it really sucks because if you're dealing with a slow night, and there's like one or two people in the haunt, how do you adjust for all the volume? Because if you get a bunch of people in the haunt, obviously they're going to be loud, so they're going to like totally drown out any kind of music or uh, you know sounds that you have. I had that problem with the piano. The piano was a really good one. You know, you'd walk by the piano and it would go bong just by itself, but not anybody really knew that because everything was just so loud. And to answer your question, I don't have a good answer for you. I have one room. Uh, Charlotte's bedroom that used to play like a separate sound in the living room dining room we had like the zombies on the wall and stuff like that and for the most part I don't use uh, sounds oh wait I take that back um, okay here's a good one I did use right and left channels so I used one iPod one set of computer speakers broken up into two rooms so left channel on in one room a right channel in the other one uh, for the basement solarium I had bees in one and I had dripping water in the other one so that's one way that you could do it too because you're you're uh, taking your your resources and you're doubling them so one mp3 uh, get editing software and put half your music on the right half your music on the left and maybe that'll work a little bit for you <sighs> okay the bomb vlogs how much do the panels cost individually approximately like 25 bucks is uh, for the way that I've done it with the plywood about $25 a panel and how do you get your ground level that way the walls aren't lopsided I'm going to answer that really quickly this says it all I don't care about the tops of the panels there's nobody here that's eight feet tall so that's not going to matter what is going to matter is that your panel is straight so always make sure that your panel is straight up and down because if your panel leans like this then getting the adjoining wall over here, the 90 degree wall to connect to it, is gonna be next to impossible. All right, so that's it guys, happy haunting. Thank you for watching. Make sure to thumbs up if you're new. Um, hit the subscribe button over there, somewhere it's down there. Happy haunting, see you guys tomorrow.